Hello everybody, let's try to solve this rigid body problem as quickly as possible based on everything we've learned from previous videos. So, determine the reactions that support A and B for equilibrium of the beam. So, we have our conventions here. We have a pin support and we have a roller support. And the first thing that jumps out at this problem is the two distributed loads. We have a triangular shape right here. And we have the rectangular shape down here. Next thing I want to do is identify reactions. So at A, we have a reaction AY. And in the x, we have ax for pins, but this is actually going to equal zero because there's no other x uh, forces in this problem. B, we're going to have by only that reaction because it's a roller. And now we can get into solving the problem. First, we identify our resultant forces of the distributed loads. We have one here, which is going to be F1. And we have one here, which is going to be F2. So let's find F1 first. We have F1 is going to be the height of that distributed load, 200 newtons per meter, times the span it covers, which is 7 meters. These cancel, and then we're going to be left with 1,400 newtons. Same for F2, except this time we use 1 half because we're working with triangular distribution. And we have the difference between the two uh, elevations of the distributed loads. Multiply by the span it covers, which is 3 meters right here. And then this is going to equal 300 newtons. We know this distance here, x1, or x2, sorry. x2 is going to be one third of the span it covers. One third of three is going to equal one meter. And then for the rectangular distribution, it's gonna be half of the entire span one half of seven meters, which is going to be 4.5 meters. Okay, now we can solve the reactions that are supports. Our instinct is to take the summation of moment. I'm going to choose B for this example, which is equal to zero. We have our convention up there. And solving, we are going to have the first force F2, which is 300 newtons. We know that's going counterclockwise, so it's going to be positive. And that's one meter away from the support. Similarly, we have 1400 newtons for the second force, which is going to be 4.5 meters away from that support. And then lastly, we have AY, which is the full span of the beam away from B. And that's going to be negative because it's in the opposite direction, right? Seven meters. Solving for AY, you are left with 742.9 newtons. And then you can take the simulation of forces at Y for the force at B. So we have AY, which we solve for 742.9 newtons. We remember our convention from before. F1 is downwards, so it's going to be negative. F2 is downwards, so it's going to be negative. And we have BY, which we're solving for. Solving for BY, we have the answer 957.1 newtons. And those are your final answers. Hope this helped.